happy holidays. I have been watching a stack of what I got for Christmas videos and I thought whilst I have a little bit of downtime, I would do a video and share the gifts that I was lucky enough to receive with you guys. I love watching these videos, so if you don't like them, tune out now. Um, otherwise, let's get on with the show. The first thing I got this year are some Adidas trainers, runners, joggers, whatever you would like to call them from wherever you're from, what is appropriate. But uh, they're just a black and white runner, which is really cute. And they actually say Los Angeles on the side. And I spotted these guys a little while ago and Santa must have taken note. And I received them on Christmas morning and I love them. I can't wait to wear them out, get a little bit more active because I'm not the greatest with exercise. I love yoga and things like that and I do love to run because it's really good uh, for the mind as well as obviously for the body, but hopefully these guys will get me a little bit more motivated. Cosmetics and makeup wise, Santa was very, very kind to me this year. I feel like it's like 80% of what I got actually. Um, something that I wanted for a really long time was the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume. If you don't know what this fragrance is, it's by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Uh, I can't wait to wear this. It's amazing. I also got a few MAC products from the um, Mineralize Skin Finish Powder range. I think that's what it's called. Um, I got the Soft and Gentle, which I use all the time as a highlighter. Global Glow and Cheeky Bronze, which are both kind of more of a bronzer, I suppose, and a highlighter. If, particularly in the summer, I think it will be really great to be able to highlight with those guys. I also got the Zoeva Rose Golden Palette and it's just a heap of really nice kind of bronzy natural looking colours with a hint of shimmer to it. I don't really stray from these colours in terms of my eyes, um, I'm not too brave, I don't go for bright colours or anything, maybe this year I'll try something a bit different but this palette just screams me really, it's very neutral but still very pretty with that little bit of shimmer as well. I also got two of the Elizabeth and James roll-on perfumes. I always carry a little roll-on or a little spray in my bag just so that I can spritz it on me whenever I need it when I'm out during the day, so these will come in very handy. These were my favourite presents that Santa gave me, I think, and they are the Ted Baker cosmetic bags. So I've got a little one uh, which will come in handy if I'm just going away for a couple of nights and this will be my big bag that I'll kind of store everything in. I've wanted these for a really, really long time and I cannot wait to fill them uh, with all of my makeup goodies, but they're just so pretty and I don't know, I just love them. The last thing from my little cosmetics haul from Santa uh, is some volumizing shampoo and conditioner and volumizing foam. I don't have overly thick hair and I'm always wanting to try and thicken it up so I'm really really excited to use this one. I got two candles off Santa this year. One is from the Circa Home Holiday Edition and it's called Red Spiced Pear. It smells like Christmas. I also got a Speak Easy candle which I'm now obsessed with. I want the whole collection. Uh, this one's in coconut and lime and I just love the really simplistic packaging and honestly it comes down to great smells with candles and this is just heavenly. Santa always delivers on the underwear front for us so I got a little package from Calvin Klein this year with a couple of coloured briefs in it which I love. Calvin Klein undies are honestly the most comfortable thing you could ever wear. I also got a straw boater hat and I plan on having a lot of days at the beach in January so this guy will come in very very handy. I absolutely love to bake which you guys would know because I've posted a fair few cooking videos on my channel and I promise there will be a lot more in 2016. So I got quite a big box of gold bakeware off Santa which is just so pretty and something that I'll keep and have forever so this is such an amazing present to get and I'm so excited to make things in it and to show you guys. I also got some vouchers which I think everyone gets at Christmas and they are a great present because you can go out and spend them on the things that you want to especially in the sales after Christmas but um, I got a hair voucher as well for my hairdresser which is great because then I don't have to spend that money on myself um, and also a gold class ticket. The last thing that I got and always get off Santa is chocolate. You can't do Christmas without eating way too much especially chocolate. We always get a jar of these Cadbury chocolate almonds. They're my favourite and I've been eating them gradually, trying to pace myself, but that's not going to happen. In fact, I might just have one right now. 
um, before I put this in my mouth and I can't speak. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. I would love to know what you got for Christmas, so let me know in the comments below. I'm so excited for 2016. I promise there will be more videos, including vlogs. A lot of people have been commenting, asking where my vlogs have gone. There will be more, I promise. I've just been really, really busy and, and luckily very busy um, with work. So I will update you on that. I might just do a bit of a, a ramble talking video very soon. And Merry Christmas. I hope you had an incredible holiday with the people that you love and that you are happy, healthy, safe and well wherever you are in the world. So thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.